Hey guys, Eric D here from Retro Rant, and I'm doing the first official Retro Rant Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Red and Blue. I'm putting a few constraints on myself as I play this game. Uh, the first of which is normal Nuzlocke rules. You're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon per route that you come across. If you miss it, too bad. You have to nickname every Pokemon that you do catch. And third of all, you're only allowed to use one Pokemon Center per town. You're only allowed to buy one potion and one Pokeball uh, per Pokemart. And um, I'm sure I'll have like a list of rules at, at the bottom actually, so if you want to look at the constraints that I'm playing under, you can see them below. Okay, so name, I will be Retro. Um, for this, uh, for this Let's Play, I'm actually using a gamepad instead of a keyboard, so I'll be less, say, uh, well, how do my Conan Let's Play was, so that's a good thing. I'm just kind of testing out this controller for, uh, this. Name. His name shall be Douche. There we go. So, what brought this on is I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a speedrun or if I wanted to just do a Nuzlocke run. Uh, people have been wanting me to do a Let's Play for a long time, so I thought this might be a good way to show everybody uh, just me playing Pokemon Blue, because everybody seems to want to watch that. <laughs> um, the series has always been about uh, the fans and stuff, so I just wanted to give uh, the people what they want. So without further ado, Professor Oak, coming on the bottom left side of your house. On right side, rather. Um, how, what he was doing there? I have no clue. I do know though that he's about to give me a Squirtle. Come on. I, I, I've dumped hours into this game uh, previously. Like, growing up, this is the game I would constantly play. Um, I just beat this game over and over again. I don't think I've kept a save data for a long amount of time. But, uh, definitely my first time playing through. I, I had to have, like, 50 hours on there, and I was only in, like, Lavender Town. <laughs> it was a great, great, uh, experience for me, and I've just loved this game ever since. This is probably still my favorite game of all time. This Pokemon is really energetic. I've got a, a Squirtle. Okay, now Nuzlocke rules, I do have to nickname him. So... No, not Tuttle. That's weird. Uh, turtle. There we go. Blue Turtle. Uh, he's gonna be my main, and I hope he doesn't die. Um, if you guys don't know what a Nuzlocke even is, um, I will link you below like, to like the wiki of it or whatever. It's it's basically a certain amount of uh, rule constraints that you have to follow, and the rule is is if you fail, you restart your game. Um, it's rather intense and it's made to make this not only more realistic, but a lot harder as well. Uh, one of the rules that I'm most worried about is when a Pokemon dies or faints, you have to release them. It's... It should be rather fun to try to get through this game. Okay, Blue Turtle, tackle. I've always hated this uh, first fight, but it's just... I always believe that the first act in a video game should always be like a preview of what's to come. It, this doesn't showcase any of the type differences. It doesn't showcase uh, battle animations all that well. Um, it's just actually rather dull. I, I would just want something a bit more flashy for an intro to a video game as well. I know a lot of games didn't have that for the Game Boy. In fact, most of them did. Most of the other games for Game Boy were th before this were very limited. Stuff like Paperboy, Tetris, things like that. Um, this is the first like good RPG I can think of when it comes to uh, the original Game Boy. Come on, Blue Turtle, you can do it. Yeah. Level 6, alright. Attack, defense, he's- okay. So this is a pretty balanced build for this run. He has a lot of defense, which is nice. Uh, everything else is just average. So just a really defense-heavy, uh, Squirtle, I guess. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen up. 
Um, if I was playing actually a uh, Fire Rider Leaf Green, this would be the ideal Squirtle. Because most people from running that game often uh, abuse a abuse something called turret that Squirtle has, where the lower their health is, the more uh, the more damage that they put out. But since this is the regular one, this is just gonna be fine for just not taking a lot of damage and just kind of running through the game, hopefully not dying. So because I'm encountering a Pidgey, uh, I, I can't catch anything now in this route. Uh, from here to the road to Viridian, uh, yeah, Viridian City, I, I'm not allowed to catch anything. Um, which kind of sucks, but you usually do run into, um, run into things here. Okay, potion. Yeah, you have to rely on finding items a lot in these runs as well. It's, uh, it's rather important. Um, because, again, I'm, I'm doing a Pokemon constraint as well. Uh, just one potion, one uh, Pokeball. I was gonna do any sort of Pokeball or potion just for convenience sake, but everything else is very strict and hardcore. Uh, Die Pidgey, die Pidgey, die Pidgey, die Pidgey, die Pidgey, die Pidgey, Pidgey, die Pidgey, die. There we go. Level seven, making progress. All right. Here we go. No, I don't. So, uh, the other constraint that I'm doing is uh, one Pokemon Center, one Pokemart uh, visit. Like, I can only buy uh, I, my one potion, one Pokeball per town. And I believe I mentioned the things I'm doing with the. Uh, I'm only allowing myself one stop to uh, Pokemon Center per town. So, what I want to do is I don't want to go to the Viridian City one at all. Because if I'm going to be facing Giovanni, I'm going to need that uh, that Pokemon Center for way later on. Okay, just kind of jumping, trying to avoid. Oh fuck! Okay. Uh, my health is a little low, but I'm not worried. I believe after I talk to Professor Oak, my health stays the same. Yes, I hope it does. Fucking Pidgey. No, 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 no. Oh, close. Okay. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Professor Oak. As we tell you as a trainer. Fucking sweet. Okay, I ordered, okay. And here comes Gary Oak. So, um, in Pallet Town, your mother does count as a... Uh, as a Nurse Joy, so... I'm not sure if I'll utilize her or not. Um, for, unless I really need it I'm get, and I get far, then I'll probably utilize it if I absolutely need it. But I'm going to try to go my longest without needing to visit Pallet Town to uh, heal up. Alright, Gramps, leave it dull to me. I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map for my sis! Fucking Gary Oak. Alright, so. Check my Pokemon. Fuck. Okay. So since I have one health left, I think it'd be smart to uh, go here, and I'll actually use my first potion. There we go. 20 health. Fuck. Two steps, and wild Pokemon battle. Come on. It's just a Rattata, so it's not too uh, dangerous. 